What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Dr. Nina. And y'all know I always get so excited to continue to share my journey with you guys from the 108 pound weight loss to keeping it off these 12 years and all the trials and tribulations that come with this thing. No, my body ain't perfect, but you best believe I'm super proud of it. Stretch marks and all. I continue to keep up with my natural remedies and ways of making my body present as best as possible, keeping my skin nice, tight, and supple. And I hope to share a lot of those tips with you guys today. Today we gonna talk about our good old friends. You know, them little squiggly lines that's real close to our heart, if you will. I consider mine my war wounds. Naturally and genetically, I've had stretch marks since I was a little girl, but they of course became even worse when I gained over 100 pounds. Stretch mark is simply a term to describe what happens to your body when the skin starts to stretch beyond its normal growth rate. Your skin is expanding and moving and growing faster than your skin can naturally account for. The middle layer of your skin is breaking apart, allowing the lower layers of the skin to show through. Your skin is trying to come through dripping, but your body ain't having it. Active or newer stretch marks tend to be darker, redder, or more purple in color depending on your skin tone. The lighter, whiter, or silvery ones tend to be the older stretch marks. Stretch marks occur for many different reasons. Pregnancy, building muscles quite fast, growth spurt in adolescence, weight gain, weight loss, and some of us are just genetically blessed with these cute little squiggly lines. And no matter the reason, there are definitely things you can be doing to help to reduce the appearance of them. So I'm gonna take you through three steps. Creating your own scrub, putting the moisture back in the skin through your own cream, and also creating an oil serum for your skin. And y'all still emailing me about creating my creams, and maybe one day I still will. But for now, I'm gonna give you a bomb cream that I think you're gonna enjoy making, and you're gonna like it even better than my last one. Be very careful about treatments that are always telling you you can get rid of stretch marks overnight. The devil is a lie and the truth ain't in them. The best remedy is always gonna be time when it comes to stretch marks. Over time, they usually fade. So pick yourself a good method and regimen, stick to it before changing it up. If you really put your heart into it, you're gonna see the results. If you feel that you're having more severe skin issues, make sure that you go into your doctor and check out what's going on with you. All items that I mentioned today can be found down below in the information section. And while I have you, make sure you thumbs up this video if you like it, comment, share, and subscribe to this channel and also my vlog channel. Make sure that you come back on all Thursdays and some Sundays for video uploads. And also be sure to turn on that notification bell so you know when so I upload. one thing that has always been helpful for me is learning the essence of dry brushing. Though I love to rotate my brushes, I often show you guys my Spin for Perfect Skin because it's been a staple for me for about two or three years now. I not only use this brush inside the shower, but I like to use it for dry brushing because it's not as harsh on my skin. It helps to exfoliate and smooth the skin out and stimulate that lymphatic system. When I'm dry brushing, I make it a point to do it about two to three times a week before I get into the shower. I brush gently and yet firmly at least 10 times on each body part, brushing up towards the heart. This directly helps to reduce cellulite and also those stretch marks and it also decongests your pores and makes your skin healthier. I also love to wet brush with this for exfoliation reasons and it works really well. So if you're interested in this brush, check the information section for the link to this brush as well as my discount code. And of course, I'm giving one away. So check the information section for all contest details as well. DIY scrubs are amazing for improving the appearance of stretch marks. My faithful viewers know that I swear by brown sugar, but here lately, I have been loving pure raw cane sugar. I'm finding that it actually exfoliates better for me. And I also love it with olive oil, coconut oil, lavender oil, vitamin E oil, and also lemon essential oil. When I can't find vitamin E oil or I want to go a less expensive route, then I use vitamin E tablets and just cut them open and use the oil inside. So down below in the information section, I've put all the amounts of each of these items that you'll need. Just make sure that you mix these together thoroughly before you use them. Also, I like to transfer this to a glass container because I can get up to about two to three weeks of use out of it and it doesn't get weak. So that's what I love about the 
the pure raw cane sugar. All of these ingredients help to soothe and calm and heal the skin, especially the vitamin E and the lavender. And I like to do this at least two to three times a week. You guys know I love a good body scrub at least two to three times a week. And that's how I'm able to maintain the skin and heal it. My regimen is always to follow the scrub with a moisturizer. So here's your own. This one deeply penetrates the skin and helps to heal it with olive oil, coconut oil, shea butter, cocoa butter, vitamin E oil, frankincense, lemon, lavender, myrrh, and rosehip oil. When I'm dealing with butters, I always use my double boilers because they help me to keep from burning the butters. You do not want to burn this up. And I finally got new double boilers and I'm so happy I got rid of the old raggedy ones. But basically I melt down the butter first and then add in the oils. Once I'm done, I mix them all together thoroughly, allow them to sit for a little while and pour them into containers. I like to let these sit overnight so they fully harden or you can put them in the refrigerator and then you are able to add it to your skin but look how this one just melts right in the other one I showed you guys you have to rub for a little longer but this one smooths right into the skin it doesn't leave you feeling oily it just leaves a soft outer moisture layer and it feels like it's deep penetrating I could use this every day and I've seen it really help with the appearance of stretch marks but also dark marks all over my body After this you'll want to seal in all your moisture with a good healing oil serum. If I start to see dark marks or stretch marks creeping up on my skin after moisturizing, I use this oil mix up to two to three times a day. Yes, it has neroli, lavender, myrrh, lemon, rosehip, jojoba, and vitamin E oil. All are great for healing properties. My newest oil, neroli, helps with skin rejuvenation and I love the scent of it. This oil mix works so well all over my body. I just love the way that my body feels. It feels softer I don't know like it just feels tender I don't know how to explain it it sounds weird but it feels really good and something else I've started to do is when I make my oils I let them sit overnight before I use them but I know that my body feels so much better and also those areas that are highly affected by stretch marks like my upper arms those don't look as dark with stretch marks so what I notice is that I can see where the stretch mark is but it's not as noticeable and that makes me happy so here's some quick remedies if I'm having newer stretch marks appearing, I definitely love store-bought Mederma or even Bio Oil. For older stretch marks, I love to use skincare items that contain glycolic acid or vitamin A. For those of you all that like to go in and get treatments, Microderm Abrasion is really good for older stretch marks. Drink 10 or more glasses of water a day. The more hydrated your skin is, the better it's going to stretch. I try to get in just about a gallon a day. Coffee scrubs work amazing for stretch marks and also cellulite. Take a formal supplement that's really good for the skin that contains things like vitamin A, C, E, zinc, and silica. They help to improve elasticity of the skin and also collagen production. Aloe vera is hands down one of the most amazing things you can use on your skin. It has lots of soothing and healing properties for skin conditions. Cocoa butter is also amazing because it helps with wrinkled and damaged skin. So you guys know I love creating these types of DIY videos. I hope that you've enjoyed it. Thanks so much for joining me today. Make sure that you comment, share this video with someone who can use it, and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Beautiful brown baby doll. Hey. Thanks so much for all the love and support over on my new website. If you haven't already, go ahead and check it out and join me for new ways to interact with me, giveaways and prizes, weekly emails, as well as my free eight day supernatural video course, which is free when you sign up.